morning everybody so today is a very special day today we finally get to mod the s4 i'm gonna go ahead and give you guys a cold start here That was in dynamic mode actually. Sorry neighbors, it's a bit early here. But uh, that was a cold start in the 2018 S4 with the stock exhaust. And as you can tell from the title, we're changing the exhaust today. We're getting an aftermarket frequency intelligent exhaust today installed and I'm super excited. So this is the first video uh, vlog um, that I have my new camera. It's a Lumix G9, uh, so hopefully the video quality is much better and also I got a, uh, a high-end Rode Pro Mic Plus and uh, hopefully my the audio is much better as far as like the car and my voice and everything like that so let me know in the comments if it is much better I really appreciate the feedback but uh, anyway enough me talking let's get started with uh, the video let's go Alright, we just pulled up to Prospect Autosport where my brand new exhaust is sitting and waiting. Um, I will do, we're gonna walk in there, we're gonna meet up with Brian and get all the other stuff out of the way, um, get everything set up, and then we'll do an awesome unboxing and show you exactly how amazing of a product this is. And then we'll get to the fun part, the installation. Well, not the fun part, but <laughs> we'll get to the installation and then after that we'll get to the fun part for the exhaust, what it looks like, what it sounds like. Ah, I'm so excited. All right, let's just head, on, head in and let's get this going. That is the last time we'll hear this. Is that the United exhaust made? Yeah. From F5? Yeah. I'm number two? Yeah. The first one was in that video. Well then. <laughs> Shit better work. <laughs> so there it is. You can see intelligent exhaust number two for the B9 platform. Let's see if this can focus. There we go. That is beautiful. So that's everything but the downpipe. So this is essentially supposed to be a cat back. Yeah. That's going up here. All right, let's take a look at the undercarriage real quick. Pretty clean, I haven't really driven it driven the car that much so we're gonna be replacing basically from back here possibly if we decide to go all the way up to the downpipe and there's the mid and then the mufflers oh well, that's what an engine bay of a b9s4 looks like there's the not so itty bitty stock turbo Do 
doing some measurements. Okay, old exhaust is all off. Time to put in the new FI exhaust on my B9 Audi S4. Let's take a look underneath real quick. Yep, there's nothing left. There's the downpipe. We did not touch the downpipe. So the sensors are still in there. This is, I know it looks weird, um, especially me coming from Japanese cars. Usually the, like the, the downpipe comes down to here and the O2 sensor is like stuck right in there. But this one goes all the way up to, basically it's in the engine bay. So it's a little bit more work than just putting in a cat back because there's these valves here that we need to fit into the car. Exhaust going in. So shiny. The axle back portion is getting fitted now. Right now we can't quite finish the exhaust system due to a couple of factors. Um, the angle of the mid pipe, I guess you can call it, um, the, the angle is too drastic between or compared to the stock factory system. Let's see here. Where it kind of squeezes here together to kind of avoid the spacing here to the solenoids for the active diff. But with this particular piping at the current moment is however we mount it up, it's forcing the exhaust over too close to in the training tunnel where it will hit and vibrate. And also it, it's way too close to the valves. And there's not enough tolerance like the stock one. Being the angles being off from the X pipe over um, is what's causing the issue to where we decide not to finish the install and just let the car go like this. Um, and also we discover the angle for the axle back. One side will work, but you know, once you connect it, it pushes everything so far over. Again, you know, the MVH, that's what we're also after, you know, with a expensive exhaust product. You should take in consideration the, the MVH in terms of rattling against factory components. Um, yes, even though we're increasing the piping on the new system, but it shouldn't be to the point where it's so close to everything and not enough clearance or tolerance, um, especially close to electronic valves. It just, it's not going to work out very well. So, um, yeah, we're just holding it off now and see what happens. Cool. Yeah, yeah basically, this is a bummer. It's not too bad. For now. Not, yeah, not too bad, but for now, for now, because safety's first. All right, so as you guys know, um, we were not able to complete the full exhaust, the full FI exhaust install on my B9S4. Um, we just went over kind of the reasons why, but there we had some fitment issues uh, essentially with the aftermarket exhaust for safety reasons. And so we all decided that we're not gonna go forward with the complete installation just for safety purposes or safety reasons until we resolve um, these fitment issues with the company themselves. The only part that is going to remain that is aftermarket is the two front pipes. Uh, so technically the car should sound a bit louder. All right, so this is going to be the first startup with the front pipes and the valves open. All right, go ahead. That sounded pretty damn good. But uh, for just the front pipe, that sounded pretty good. That cold start was really nice. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna give a few revs. Go ahead. 
God, that sounds freaking amazing. Oh my God, all right, so that's just with the front pipes. All right, so that's not the full cap at the axle back and the mid pipe, so that is insane. Oh my God, it smells good too. Okay, I'm happy for now, all right. All right, so uh, you heard the clips from the outside, so I'm gonna add some clips with the GoPro mounted right above my exhaust with me accelerating, kind of low key in automatic mode, cruising, hear what it sounds like, and then I'll put it in manual mode, in dynamic with all the valves open and just really rip it. And, um, and you can hear all the nice loud pops and crackles uh, and uh, get an idea of what it's like to just have the two front pipes uh, replaced. Here's a clip right now. So, I'm sure you can tell from my tone, I am definitely super bummed. Uh, it's been a long day. Brian and I have been working on getting this exhaust installed on the car basically all day today. And um, we ended up going, reverting back to stock except for the two front pipes, which are the uh, aftermarket exhaust uh, components, which definitely make the car sound a bit better. It sounds a bit louder, um, get more pops and cra uh, crackles. So it's it's nice to have that. But overall, I'm kind of bummed out that you know there were some fitment issues. You know, having to pay um, this kind of money for a product that's post production essentially. It's no more no longer a prototype. I'm kind of bummed, kind of disappointed. Um, I wouldn't. Um, I don't want to make any negative comments quite just yet because we are still working. We're going back and forth with the company and trying to resolve this issue, see exactly what we need to do. So unfortunately, this is going to be part one of hopefully only two part video uh, with us completing the installation in the second video, which I'm, I'm hoping uh, will, will be in the next week or so. I don't want to make any promises just yet until I have all the details. But for now, um, just enjoy this part <laughs> of the exhaust and um, and I will definitely keep everybody posted. If you follow me on Instagram, um, you'll hear uh, all the news there sooner than you will on YouTube. And if you don't follow me on Instagram, I don't know what you're doing. Um, you should get on there and check it out. And I got tons of car stuff up there and, uh, and I do a lot of posting regarding my Audi S4. So any updates will be on there. As soon as I get them, as soon as I hear them, you'll see pictures, you'll see comments uh, on there. So until the next video, um, I hope you enjoyed this. I uh, <laughs> wish I had better news, but if you're new to the channel, go ahead and subscribe. I've um, got a lot more stuff um, coming uh, by the end of this week for this car that's non-exhaust related. A bunch of other stuff coming up in the next few weeks, but go ahead and hit that thumbs up button. Um, let me know if you liked it, if you hated it, thumbs down, You know, let me know, your feedback always helps. But uh, until next time, I'll uh, see y'all later. Peace. Whatever you do, every time I fall before you, if only I knew.